Natalie, thank you for tuning in. We're so excited to be here at the SEAC to talk to you today about how to become a master of self-discipline in just five easy steps. Think of the acronym PUSHED to become a master of self-discipline in five easy steps. P. Prioritize. U. Use your time wisely. S. Schedule your day by the hour. H. Form habits. D. Minimize those distractions. Very important. Prioritizing is extremely important. Schedule your day and make your schedule by looking at the urgency meter and schedule everything to where it falls on that urgency meter. If you want to be focused and want to be self-disciplined, you have to schedule social media time exactly the same way. You have to prioritize it just like any other work task because it is work. Our next tip is use your time wisely. So speaking of social media, if the use of your social media is not for work and it's just purely for socializing and communicating with your friends, checking up on your friend's vacation pictures, commenting on that nice new bikini your friend got, do not do that in your work time. And for me, my tip is know when to call it quits. So for example, in those moments of time when I feel ill, when I can't concentrate, I just have to simply take a break, maybe, you know, have a bite of a sandwich or take a drink of some water. Basically, just go for a walk, clear my head, and then return to the task at hand when I feel 100% focused, 100% ready to go and power through. of self-discipline is to schedule your day hour by hour. When you schedule your emails to do over a three-hour period, it's actually one hour for the email. Two hours gets mixed in the shuffle, gets lost to checking your Facebook news feed, walking to the bathroom. So when you schedule something for one hour, even if you have to do it hour by hour back to back, for example, emails at 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, go ahead and do that, but make sure it's hour by hour. tip on becoming a master of self-discipline is forming good habits. According to studies, it actually takes your brain about three weeks or 21 days to form that habit into something that becomes like second nature or autopilot to you. All you have to do is consistently and consciously put that to your daily task and just do it every single day until you form that habit. And then what ends up actually happening is that not doing that task is even more difficult than actually making yourself to do it because it becomes like a second nature it's and a habit. It's conditioning in a way, right? Absolutely. Our next tip on how to become a master of self-discipline is to minimize your distractions. Now this point is very, very important because successful people are very, very self-disciplined. So what I like to do during that hour of devotion is I like to turn my phone on airplane mode. It's very, very important for two reasons. One, the very obvious reason is the time that it actually takes you to look down at your device. So let's say you take about 10 seconds to look down at that phone. The time wasted isn't actually just that 10 seconds, that's right. It's actually the time that you look, the 10 seconds, plus the time that it takes for your brain to refocus, which can be another 10 seconds, 20 seconds. So the simple act of looking down at your phone will actually cost you 30 seconds. So to summarize, Train your mind to focus. Minimize those distractions. Put those phones away, ladies. Thank you for watching. For all our news and events, please follow us on social media at Empowered Club. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel acronym PUSHED to become <laughs> prioritizing is, is extreme. <laughs> For all of our news and events, 